Okay, morning. It is 9.54 on a Thursday morning and this is a Suzuki V-Strom 800DE. I'm a really lucky git and I've got this for the whole summer. I've been expecting it for weeks and today I'm going to run it in. Yeah, today I'm going to run it in. Just through a circumstance, set of circumstances and all sorts of different events, I've ended up needing to do running in in a day, which is 400 miles. So I've picked it up this morning from Suzuki HQ here in Milton Keynes. 330 miles to do today, and then 70 miles to bring it back from home to here tomorrow morning. So I've got quite a day ahead of me. So it seems like a really good opportunity to get used to this new bike that I'm really looking forward to having this summer. Okay, so let's see what this bike is like. You might be wondering why I've got to run this bike in one day. Simple answer really is I haven't got a lot of choice. I set off on a big tour on Saturday. Today's Thursday, so on Saturday I set off on a trip that's probably somewhere around 1,200 miles. And when Suzuki said the bike would be available on the Thursday before I set off, I just thought, well, if I want to take it on the trip rather than taking my own bike, then I'm going to have to run it in a day. So here we go, 400 miles to do in the next 24 hours, and then at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning it's booked in for its first service, and then I can pick it up get home, work out how I'm going to put luggage on it and then get going on my Scotland trip on Saturday. So today I've got my route, I'm going on the Suffolk and Norfolk coastline and the reason I've chosen that route is because for running in ideally you wouldn't spend a long time on motorways and dual carriageways because sitting at constant speed under heavy load on the engines not really ideal for running in anyway enough of all that let's talk about the bike way more interesting so this is the suzuki v-strom 800 de new for 2023 and it's now a parallel twin rather than the v-twin which came in the old 650 which is still available on alongside this at least for now anyway so this is now a parallel twin and the reason it's called a V-Strom, not a P-Strom, is that apparently the V never really stood for the V configuration of the engine. It stood for versatile, and it's still versatile, so it's still a V-Strom. I have to say, V-Strom sounds a lot better than P-Strom. So there we go, it's now got the 270 degree cylinder firing interval that Yamaha have made really popular recently with their MT-07 so this follows suit which gives you the kind of performance we've always had from parallel twins but much more of a V-twin like sound and first impressions in that sense are good I've always liked parallel twins even when they sounded pretty dull and lots of other people didn't like them I've always liked them and they sound better now so I can't argue with that so I'm really looking forward to today and I'm really looking forward to spending all summer with this bike After the first few miles it feels like it's quite nice and perky, nice and nimble, but I'll know a lot more about it by the end of today after doing all those miles. So anyway, let's get some miles done and see how this goes. I'm looking forward to today, like I said. So I'm 25 miles in, I'm near a place called Shefford, I won't go on too much about it just yet just going to stop for a quick drink something to eat and then we'll be getting on the road again so so far so good all right so we're two hours in now and i'm somewhere in essex I think the village I've just been through was called Clavering, something like that. What a great day. The weather's really on my side and I'm really enjoying being out on the bike today. It's just me and Jane. Uh, she's the 
voice on the TomTom Tom sat nav. And the bike feels really good, the roads are good. This territory is absolutely perfect for trying to run it in. And the bike handles well, the engine feels lively, the comfort's good. Two hours and absolutely no bother whatsoever on the bike. I really hope today keeps going like this. Let's get some more miles done and uh, see how we get on. Right, we are about four hours into this overall mission to get this bike running in a day. We're in a place called Monks Ely in Suffolk. Just pulled up for about a 10 minute break just to try and get on a bit of water and try and get some of the bugs free from the visor on this R for 91 HJC helmet that I'm trying out today. Helmet's really good by the way. So there'll be a review of that coming up at some point. But overall today, it's all about the bike, I guess. And the V-Strom 800's been really, really impressive. It is really punchy. Engine's got plenty of poke to it. The initial pickup on it's really strong. Handling-wise, it feels really good really good it doesn't feel like riding a big dirt bike which some of these bikes have a tendency to it's got a 21 inch front wheel but it still feels like it turns in really nicely uh perfect for the sort of roads up and riding there's been loads and loads of country lanes all i did with the tom tom was just went on a route planner and kept dragging the route out from milton Keynes to home until the distance looked like it was what i was going to need to be doing today so we've done 100 miles since we set off this morning and the range meter still says I've got about 120 miles to go. So a 220, 225 mile tank range, if that's what we've got, means less time spent in petrol stations this year. And without meaning to cause any offence to anyone who works in a petrol station, the less time spent in one of those really, the better. The last time I looked, the predicted time that I'd be getting home was 9.50, which is about right. So next stop, hopefully, will be Alderborough on the Suffolk coast. Now we've made it into Suffolk, hoping that the next stop will be on the coast where I'm hoping that that fish and chip shop that I've been recommended will be open. But we'll see if it is. So my quick break's over, clean the visor, had a quick drink. We're getting back on the road in a minute on the way up to the coast. And earlier on, I said it was so far so good. Well, after three and a half, four hours now, I can say it's so far so very good. Welcome to Alderborough. We're here, the Chippy's shut. The one that was uh, recommended to me, I kind of figured it was gonna be because it closes in the afternoons. So I'm gonna have to see if I can find something else to live up to the good old British cliche of having fish and chips by the seaside. But it's nice to hear the waves lapping up against the coast here in Suffolk. Really enjoying the bike, really enjoying the experience of just riding through some different places. I was trying to count up how many counties I'll have done by the time we finish and I think we're probably on for six or seven different counties. It's really nice to be out on a day like this, enjoying this new bike and getting it running. So fuel is still running at around 60 miles per gallon, so it's nice and efficient, it feels comfortable. We are now five and a half hours in and we're about 180 miles down, which means I've got about the same to do again. Bike's still feeling good. Thank you. 
Okay, so we're on our way out of Alderbury now. Couldn't find fish and chips. Ran out of time, ran out of patience. So, need to try and make up some time now. Can't afford to be nothing around, sadly. Just would like to find somewhere to eat. If you're worried about the state of my stomach, you can worry no longer. I've arrived in Great Yarmouth and found some fish and chips by the seaside at Terry's Fish and Chips. Had to queue up behind a guy who wanted some advice on whether to have another go at his CBT or just go straight for learning on a big bike. Last time he tried his CBT, he fell off six times, he says, on the playground bit. So I just said, yeah, go for the big bike. What can go wrong? Right, we are now four hours from home, 138 miles. So what's that, an average of about 30 miles an hour, a bit more, 35 miles an hour. Hopefully can improve on that a little bit. Give it a quick run along Great Yarmouth Seafront. Never been here before. It's actually all right, quite interesting. Run along here and then I'm gonna have to smash some miles out because I'm hoping that it's gonna take a bit less than four hours to get home. Right. See you soon. Right then, you join me now for the final run into my adopted hometown of Stamford. I said back in Yarmouth that I was going to have to get my head down and get some miles done because time was really getting away from me and that's exactly what I've done. It's about three and a half hours now since I left Yarmouth and it's been really, really good. All around that coastline, all around the Norfolk coastline, around the top, down past Hunstanton and then quite a long stretch of sort of dual carriageway that had to be done to get me back yeah it's been pretty constant riding so a very long day it's now 10 past 10 but it's been a very long day but it's been a very good day my left shoulder is a little bit sore the wide handlebars on the v-strom have kind of aggravated an old injury um, but it's not this bike's fault it's not suzuki's fault that i've got an old injury my right shoulder's fine so Really, it's my injury to blame, not that, but it's just something to report. It'll be interesting to see how that develops over time. You never know, it might be good for my shoulder, a bit of exercise. Yeah, so today's been a really cool day of exploration. It's a long time, really, since I've had a chance to just go out and have nothing really to do except ride, which has been really enjoyable. Been and seen some new places, some new sites, things that I've never seen. It'd be nice to go back to that part of the world and have another look. And now I'm really, really excited for heading off on my trip on Saturday with Helen, my partner. She's really looking forward to it. The whole thing's been booked for a long time. So running in today means that I can take the V-Strong, which is really, it's the ideal bike for that trip, I think. We'll see. And I think really it's the ideal trip for this bike to find out whether it's as good as lots of people think it is. Uh, first impressions suggest it is. It's been a great day. Uh, but there we go. Anyway, just a few yards now towards home, so I'll shut up. I'll be back in the morning for the last run back down to Milk Keynes to take this back to Suzuki and get that first service done. So I'll see you then. morning here we are next morning and it's 12 minutes past 8 which gives me an hour and 45 minutes to get from home here in Stamford back to Milton Keynes for the service so 341 miles yesterday 
Do you mind? Do you mind? So 341 miles yesterday, got another 70 this morning and that'll be 410 and we will be on for first service. Feel surprisingly fresh this morning. By the end of yesterday I was a bit achy but this morning feeling good and ready to get on the road to get this back to Milton Keynes for its first service and then tomorrow the big adventure starts. So let's get on the road. So here we are, we're back. It's been just under 24 hours of riding and we've done 425.9 miles. And all of that's been done on one fill up. We're getting pretty close on fuel now, got about five, 10 miles before it's gonna need filling up again. So hopefully now Suzuki can let this cool down for a bit, get the service done, and tomorrow starts the big adventure up to Scotland. Thanks for sticking with it all the way to the end. Yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.